Gumatasa is presented by Gumatasa Coffee House, specializing in fresh local favorites. Located across Taylor in Manila. Find them on Facebook. Coffee day and welcome back. Now here at the show, we're all about supporting local and sharing with you places you should definitely check out, especially if you're looking for good eats. Now, if you're looking to satisfy your pokey fix, look no further. Head on over to Inigua and check out pokies. Hafri Guam, you know, this is Mark from Pokey's Snack Shack in uh, Nigua behind the district court. And I'd like, you to, I'd like to invite all of you uh, from the beautiful island of Guam to come and check out uh, the island's very first uh, kind of uh, specialty pokey cart. How many 23-year-olds do you know who save up their money to purchase their very own food truck? Well, I for one know of one, Mark Elliott. Elliot is the owner of Pokies, a food truck serving up various types of pokey. So what exactly is pokey? Well, it's considered an appetizer or salad in Hawaii that is usually made with yellowfin tuna, green onions, chili peppers, sea salt, sesame oil, seaweed, and other ingredients. When attending college, the energetic Elliot said he loved two things. They have a lot of awesome food trucks and also that they have uh, they have this this like super payless called Foodland, right? And man, that one is um, uh, that one's awesome because they have a they have a seafood section, and it's like uh, there's basically trays and trays of pokey, and uh, you can get it by the pound. After graduating with a degree in business, he came back to Guam and he came up with the idea of pokies. I really love going to food trucks because uh, I noticed that the because I like hole in the wall kind of restaurants and really like food trucks are. They're always, you know, with that small business mindset, they have to differentiate themselves by offering superior quality food or, you know, stuff that you can't, you can't really find uh, anywhere else. Located behind District Court in Inigua, the Mint Green Food Truck has been offering up this simple yet delicious dish for over a month. With no culinary background, just a love for food. If you really like to do something, you know, it, it, it's worth it to put your mind to it, right? And like, uh, <clears throat> and you know, try to get better at it and try to see if you can like, you know, cultivate that into something that you can possibly make a living off of, or you know, at least have a really nice hobby that you can do too. Cause you know, it, it helps, uh, it helps, you know, it helps the brain. And the custom homemade food truck definitely has its share of history. I got this off of my, uh, my gym owner, believe it or not. And uh, this, this actual food, food uh, stand uh, has gone through, uh, I think, uh, three or four iterations. The first one, it was owned by Mr. Uh, uh, Jess Penglin. He, he did coffee out of this. Uh, he had an espresso machine and everything. The second one, he sold it to a lady who made paninis over by Racer's Edge, if anybody uh, remembers that. And then the third one was owned by uh, Mr. Pito, uh, Pito Cruz, who, who owns the Jim Guahan. He did like uh, shakes and smoothies. And through the power of social media and word of mouth, Elliot sees the response growing. The reason why I picked this location is because it's actually um, uh, on I like on what I like to call um, like you know one of the one of the main second roads that you know all the locals will know. And uh, my my main market that I was trying to target is uh, pretty much all all locals. And um, uh, yeah, it's been awesome. With the revitalization of Haganya, Elliot is optimistic and excited about the kind of crowd it will bring. At Pokies, you have your choice of a handful of various pokey flavors. Choose pika, curry, wasabi soy, original, or one that is quite popular. It's the different pokey. I'd like to uh, big up the uh, the different guys, uh, Chef uh, Jason Datswin. They make a he makes an excellent denancy. He's very good, and uh, he came by and. Uh, yeah, uh, I like the guy a lot because, uh, you know, he told me that he uh, really respects, like, uh, uh, people on what he, what he calls, I guess, the local agenda. According to Elliot, he gets his tuna from a distributor, but is in the process of sourcing it locally. And get this, he grows his own vegetables. My advice, to, I guess, to a lot of people is that, you know, if you wanted to start your own business, but, you know, you didn't really quite, you didn't really know how to do it or anything like that, I say just like look into it, seriously look into it and you know, stop making other people rich and make yourself rich. 
by, by working hard too. And you know, have fun with it too. Do something that you're like really good at too. Not bad advice from a young man who has three other jobs but still finds time to pursue his passion of food. If you want to satisfy your pokey fix and support a young man's dreams, head on over to Pokey's. They're open Wednesday through Friday from 11 a.m. to about 3.30 p.m. To stay up to date, like Pokey's on Facebook as well. And to place to-go orders, catering inquiries, and more, give Mark a call at 689-3743. It's so much fun, yeah, it's like, <laughs> this is like the most fun I ever had. Guam will always be my home, so I felt like I had to come back. Uh, and take what I learned on my journeys and like kind of apply it here and see see what I could do. Thanks for coming to Pokies, guys. <laughs> and don't forget to tell Mark that In The Mix sent you. We have the Guam guy with Rachel Daniels when we return. In The Mix is presented by Gumatasa Coffee House, specializing in fresh local favorites. Located across Taylor's in the Nilo. Find them on Facebook.